Vince, so what's the feeling at this point? It's been a rough couple of weeks for you guys with having, you know, look like you're going to play, and then you're not going to play, and then you're going to play, and then you're not going to play. How have you guys handled the uh, whole process of just making it through this? I mean, uh, just continue to keep our head down and work. I mean, it's obviously not a situation that we hope to be in, but there's not much we could do to control that. So we're just going to – we just continue to work every day and just look forward to our, our next opportunity to play. Do you think it's taken a toll on on any of the guys or anything like that just to kind of be preparing the way y'all are and to have it called like Thursday right before game? Uh, no, not really. I, I feel like, if anything, it just made us, like, more excited to play that next game. I mean, like I said earlier, there wasn't anything that we could do about it. But now everybody just wants to wants to play, like, every single practice that we've had but has been super competitive and high energy. So I feel like it hasn't affected us in a negative way at all. You don't feel like the season's starting to slip away from you guys here a little bit? No, not at all. I mean, we, we still know that we can win every single game that's on that um, schedule. So I feel like there's, we're not in panic mode at all. You kind of mentioned the, the practices being high energy. Uh, what has it been like uh, preparing and practicing and improving without that kind of game tape prior week? I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Like, I mean, it's from like my perspective, at least, I feel like it still it still looks good. I feel like we we're all doing our job and doing what the coaches asked. Talk a little bit about UAB. I mean, it looks like they've got a really physical line and a run game. That's kind of what they're known for. I mean, what do you guys see in UAB as you start preparing for this game? Uh, they're big up front and they like to run the ball. So we just want to uh, stop the run as much as we can and just play sound assignment sound football. Is that the key against these guys? You just have to, you have to play well up front and cover your assignments. No doubt, no doubt. Like I mean, we can't let them feel comfortable in the run game. We just want, need to uh, get penetration throughout the uh, defensive, uh, throughout their uh, offensive line, and then just if everyone does their job, we'll be we'll be fine. Hey Dion, what's it like on a Saturday when you know you're supposed to be playing and? You can't play, and you're having to watch a lot of other teams across the country play on television. What's that like sitting there watching it on TV? It's kind of tough. I mean, for me at least, like, I know, like, I, especially like we had a game scheduled, we had a game plan, so it's just it's it's a little weird on that Saturday knowing that you're supposed to be playing around this time that uh, you're watching games, especially like it, it being a homecoming game. Coach Bowen's talked a lot about uh, tackling this year, and y'all talked about it as well. Uh, do you feel like y'all are, are ready to go against a physical UAB team in that in that respect? Yeah, I mean, we still have a few more days to prepare, but we're headed down the right track. Everyone's running to the ball. Everyone knows what angles to take. Yeah, and you have some NFL aspirations. Are you hoping that the, this is going to lead you to a professional career? Yeah, I mean, uh, God willing, you know, uh, I just want to do my part to get me to that next level. But as of right now, I just want to focus on the team and be as successful as I can here. And, you know, and that's the thing with this season. You know, this is your big opportunity this year. Do you feel like you have to show something this year to, to increase your chances to make it? I mean, yeah, but uh, it's I don't have to do anything spectacular to, like, that the coaches or the team don't already ask for me to do, you know? So I'm not going to, like, stress about it. I, I know I'm going to be in the right position, and God willing, some team will see my skills. Yeah, I guess that's my point. I mean, if you're in, you're in the midst of a season where, you know, you really need to, you know, kind of make your case – and all of a sudden, you, you know, all of your, a lot of your opportunities are getting wiped out. I mean, especially the opportunities against higher level competition like right. A&M. And, and do you ever think about that? Do you think maybe you, you might have missed a little bit of a chance to show what you can do? I mean, sometimes, but I can't let that get to me, you know. Um, I just got to do my part and, well, like, I just got to let the rest play out. I, there's some things I can't control and. Missing those games was something that I couldn't control, so I'll just let the rest play out. Yeah, 
guys got to get pressure on UAB this week? Is that going to be an important part of this game plan? Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, that's always an important part of uh, any defensive game plan. But uh, I think the big emphasis is to stop the run. No one's been drafted from North Texas in a long time. And you may be one of those guys that could get that kind of opportunity. Is that something that would mean a lot to you to maybe break through and be picked? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like anybody, like if they get the opportunity to be drafted, like it's just a, it's just, it's just, it's a big thing already. So I don't want to just get stuck on that. I just want to do what I can to help this program. Have you come a long way as a player? It seems like you've really improved since you came over from Wiley. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I owe uh, everything to North Texas, you know. Uh, I came in here not knowing, like, uh, not being, not having a high football IQ, not having good technique to where I am right now. So it was, it's actually pretty cool, like, seeing that transformation. Okay. Hey, Dion, Dion, when the uh, when the COVID numbers started to spike a little bit within the program, you know what was going through your mind? I mean, obviously you knew that you know COVID nineteen is nothing to play with, and you guys have done your due diligence to try to avoid the, the kind of thing happening, but yet it still happened. What what kind of went through your mind when you were seeing all those people be affected by it? I mean, I hate that. Uh, like, I just hate COVID nineteen. You know, like it ruined a lot of things, but. Uh, just to continue to stay safe, continue to do my part to uh, not get it, you know? That was really much it. That was, yeah, that was pretty much it. Thank you. Another veteran guy that, uh, you know, has really helped you guys out a lot this year is KD Davis. Has he really like, stepped forward in a leadership role this year as you guys have dealt with this pandemic? Of course, of course. I mean, uh, KD, he's a captain for a reason, you know? Uh, I feel like he's really taking the responsibility to kind of get the linebacker, the linebacker group uh, headed down the right path, having a, a voice on the defense and kind of uh, letting guys know the standard. And I feel like that, that was huge, especially during the, this COVID-19 period. So he set the standard not just for those linebackers, but across the board for the whole team? The whole defense, the whole defense. He's, a, he's an amazing leader. He's a great captain. What makes him an amazing leader? Uh, just not being afraid to hold hold guys accountable. I mean, that's something that not a lot of people are comfortable with doing, but he's one of those guys that uh, he's not afraid of being uncomfortable.